Well, today, Anita has a project. And we're going to go around there in a few minutes, and I'm going to let her tell you what she's got planned. I'm going to be her helper today. But what we've decided to use are these two old hog panels right here. Now, they've been I've been using these for a few years, not in the last couple of years, but before that, what I do when I clean out my stable, you see I've got them in a circle. I dump my compost in there, my manure in there. I let it compost down for a year or two. Then I'd put it in my garden. Well, I stopped doing that a couple of years ago because I kept tabs on the person I buy my hay from, and he informed me that he had started spraying his hay field with Grazon. And if you're familiar with Grazon, it's good for weeds in your hay field, but it's not good for your garden. What happens is the your livestock will eat the hay, go through the system, and the chemical will stay in the manure. So if you put that compost down, put it in your garden, the chemical's still there, and your garden will not do good. Now, I'm not going to go into any details about it, but you can Google it and uh, find out about it. So we're going to drag these around to the other side, take them apart, flatten them out, and get started. Okay, well, we've got them taken apart. We've got them flattened out laying here. We're ready to get started. So now let's walk around here and I'll let Anita tell you what she has got in mind. Now what we have here is one of her little flower beds. And as you see, it's right off this little side porch right here where we do our cooking and whatever else. And she got several flower beds around. But this one right here, I'm gonna let her explain to you what's going on. Well, we put up we put up this uh, just this little temporary fence here to keep the dogs out of my bed, and I'm tired of it. So I've been looking online at some of the fence little garden fences that you put up, and oh my goodness, they are so expensive. So we went to Lowe's yesterday and um, just bought this little strip thing that rolls out, and it was so flimsy. I mean last night's wind would have blew it down so john came up with the idea of taking those panels and cutting them and putting them here down you know about right to this level uh and then i'm gonna spray paint them i can't decide if i want to spray paint them green or black so any suggestions before i get started on my painting and if that's the biggest decision you got to make today you're, you're, you're doing great aren't you <laughs> that's it that's that's it so, and we're thinking just a little short fence, the dogs are not going to jump it. Yeah, maybe not. I, I mean, not even this little wire here, it's not, it's not, it's not know, hot. It's, it's never, like, it's, it's never, hot. it's never had electricity no, on it. No, it's just, it's just, just a visual a, effect. Yeah, it's just so. a boundary because they see this and they won't go in there. Because she does not like them running over no. her flowers. They tear my flowers up. So, there, it's got a little rabbit head down in there. You know why I did that? <laughs> why? Downtown Greenville has a thing, and it's called Mice on Main. So you walk up and down Main Street, and they have these uh, little copper mice, or whatever you want to call it, metal um, mice around, and you look for these little mice on Main. And so I had these little rabbits, and I thought, I'm going to put my little rabbits out here. You got another? Oh, there's another one over there. And, um, well. <laughs> and call them uh, <laughs> bunnies on Willow Oak. As many times I've one, been out here, I hadn't noticed have your rabbits. One, then I have one hidden over here, too. Well, there's another one. And I got one hidden over here, too, so. I guess I don't pay good attention. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have I just, not noticed those. I just, I just <laughs> thought it'd be something cute. All right, so let's go around here and uh, get started. We'll cut them off. Well, she's decided how tall she wants it, so we're going to cut these off. And... This is the bottom right here where they're closer together. So she likes to look at that, so we're gonna make that the top. So we're gonna cut them right here. That's gonna give us like 18 inches from here to here. And this part will stick in the ground. So let's get our uh, things over there and we'll go to clipping.
We've got them cut off. And that's what we're gonna look right there. We've got a little prong at the bottom when we stick them in the ground, hopefully. And what we're gonna do now, they're still a little wrinkled up where they're in that circle. So we're gonna try to straighten them out a little bit more. Then we'll go take one around there and try it. Well, there you go, honey. What you think? I like it. I like it. What y'all think? Is that gonna work? It is perfect. Now she said to begin with that she was gonna paint it either black or a hunter green. Now she's decided that she may just leave it like it is. So I told her there's no hurry. She can look at it for a few days, a few weeks, whatever. Decide you wanna paint it, we'll paint it. I know, but you know me, if I get a project started, I like to finish it. But that's Real, too, Yeah, I love this though. I like the just the natural. I, I like it because it's heavy. It's not going yeah, where it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. And some of that better stuff you buy to do with uh, things like this with was going to cost over two hundred dollars. Right. And this costs yep. nothing. Exactly. Stuff we had and what not using. Just step into it when I need to come out here and I need to work in it. We we've been having some good rain during the night. Good down. Yeah, we got a good rain last night, three so quarters of an inch. I so. need to get out here. So hopefully that'll keep it. hopefully that'll keep the pups out. Okay, let's go to the front. Maybe y'all can give some me some suggestions on the front. We're around front here now. There's the front door. Little flower beds around here. Yeah. And we just, I, was it last summer we did this? And some things I'm gonna replace because they just didn't do good. But my issue is, this right here, it, it washes down. We've got a little board right here, but it doesn't do much. So I'm trying to figure out what I could put across here to keep this from running. It washes the pine needles down when it, and these hard rains we've been having. Yeah, and um, and then this little place over there, you know, right the, around the little the bushes. Same thing. Um, so there's always little projects to do with with the cows or goats or whether it's on the flower beds isn't that right honey? i like projects <laughs> okay it keeps me busy and keeps me young well but, um, if anybody has any suggestions as maybe what you've done in your front um let her know and since i saved money on that over there i might could spend a little bit on this over here why don't we try to save money on this one too how about that that's a good idea that's a good idea <laughs> yeah, okay you know um, All right, we'll figure something. Over here, we've done, you know, we've done the wood right here. We had to build this up. Yeah. So. All right. You know. We'll figure something out. Well, yesterday we took care of a couple of projects that Anita wanted to get done, but today we're back out here at the hub. It's time to think about our fall garden. So we need to plant a few seed, get a few seeds started. So let me turn you around and show you what we got going on. Well, we're not going to plant a whole lot. But what we are going to plant, we're going to do some broccoli. Got two different kinds here. It just came. Got some Waltham 29 and some Sun King Hybrid. Now, the last couple of years, my broccoli has not done well. I usually plant my fall garden the latter part of September. That's what I've done. Then the weather warmed back up. It stresses out the broccoli. It wants to uh, bolt. And then it'll cool back down again. So my broccoli had not done good the last couple of years. We're going to try it again. Brussels sprouts. We're going to try some Brussels sprouts. I struggle growing them, but we're going to try them again. Then collards. I always plant collards. Now, Georgia collard right here, that's an old time favorite, been around forever. I plant some of that every year, and I plant some top bunch collards, and I really like them. They do well. And this year, I saw some top chop hybrid collards. Never heard of them. So I bought a pack, I said, let's try those too. So we got three different types of collars we're gonna plant. And then got some Blue Ridge kale left over from last year. We're gonna plant that, really do like kale. So I had these three packs of seeds right here left over from last year. So hopefully they'll germinate out good. But we're gonna plant a good many of what we got. We got plenty of space, seeds are cheap. Let's just plant a bunch. We can give them away to our friends, family, anybody that needs them. So let's get started. I need to get my containers out, get them cleaned up, get a little soil in them, and we'll get to planting. 
Well, what I did was I took my seed starting trays here and these over here. I took them inside into the garage. We have a laundry sink in the garage. I put some water, warm water in there with a little Clorox. Then I rinsed my trays out good. And then I rinsed them with some clean water to kind of sterilize them. I do that in the spring and the fall. Then I came in here and you see I've got these three full. And I label them. That's where I'm going to do my Georgia. Top bunch, top chop. And this is regular miracle Grow soil mix, potting mix. I put my, I used it on the bottom because it's a little bit cheaper. And I put my seed in there and then I cover it lightly with this potting mix, seed starting potting mix. Now I think the only difference really in the potting mix and the potting soil is that has been screened more, it's a lot finer. So you can see these have a lot of larger pieces in there, which is fine down below. But I want to keep the thin stuff on top for my seed to come up through. So now we're going to plant our collards. I'm going to put two or three, probably three seed in each one. Might put a few more of these old ones because seeds are cheap. So let's get these planted. Well, there are our collards. Georgia top bunch and top crop. As you see, I label them. I take some painter's tape and sharpie and label them so i can pull them off and change them later on not only do i do it on the big one i do it on each individual one in case somebody wants to take them out and move them around so those are our collards now let's move on to our broccoli all right now we've got our broccoli got 12 of the waltham 29 got 12 of the sun king these are our brussels sprouts got 16 of those planted and what i've done i gave them all a little drink of water I put a little dome on them to hold the moisture in. And if you notice, I have not got the light on. They do not need the light until they germinate. And all these seeds, the broccoli collards and Brussels sprouts, call for germination in 10 to 21 days. Now that's a pretty big window if you ask me, but we're not going to turn the lights on until they start germinating. Now we've got a few uh, of the kale over here. I'm going to start a few of them also, then we'll be done. Down here we got our kale planted. And you can see those are pretty big cells right there. So I put several in each one and spread them out. And they're old seeds, so let's hope they germinate. And if they do, I'd break them apart and spread them out. I didn't have any more short domes, so I put a tall dome on that. I've got a couple of them. Had forever. Why? I have no idea. But anyway, that's all we're going to plant. We've got our kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and a good many collards of three different kinds. Used to plant some cabbage, but we really don't need a lot of cabbage, so it's not worthwhile to plant it. I don't make sauerkraut. So this is what we're going to do. Collards and the kale is my favorite. You know, get a big old mess of collards, some cornbread, some pinto beans, slice of onion. Good gracious. Thank you in heaven. So 10 to 21 days on germination. Let's hope everything germinates does good, and we'll keep an eye on them. Well, that's just a couple of things we've done around here the last few days. We try to do something every day. We found that's easier to keep it up than it is to catch it up. And remember, happy wife, happy life. So that's all i got for you now. So the next time, hope you have a great week.